you want it from the horse's mouth or the other end of the horse, Paul borrowed a right-handed guitar from John or Eric. He had to retune it because it was tuned to banjo tuning. Now, this is often misinterpreted by people who say Paul showed John how to tune a guitar. John didn't need to know how to tune a guitar to guitar tuning because he didn't use guitar chords. G banjo tuning is is an open G chord, so obviously the thing is going to be different. The very famous photo of them on stage in the afternoon clearly shows that John is playing a regular G chord, G formation, and if you blow up the picture, which I have done, there's definitely six strings on that guitar. Did you realize this? Were you aware of this? I have it blown up in front of me here on the screen, and there is no question about six strings on the guitar. He always had six strings on his guitar because occasionally he would break one, and in mid-song he'd turn round to me, pick up my banjo, continue playing the banjo, and I would have to have the string back on his guitar ready for the next song. So that's another reason why he certainly played banjo chords at one time, no question. But uh, certainly the photograph is very interesting from the point of view that it certainly does look like a G chord going down. And I'm also looking across on the photograph at Eric Griffiths, who also seems to be playing a G chord. Right, yes. I noticed the exact same thing. If it was in banjo tuning, which you well know, open G, that chord formation sounds absolutely horrible. So I just want to go through this and just analyze this. Now, if I play that G formation with banjo tuning on there. Would you agree that definitely sounds horrible? Oh, yeah. There is no question that... Uh, playing a guitar G chord on a banjo or or on a guitar tuned in open G is not going to work and it's going to sound exactly like you just came up with. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to get at. So there is no question, absolutely no question now that on that stage that day in the afternoon session, John was playing his Galatone tuned to A440 playing a regular G chord as we know it. I mean, the photographic evidence is there. It's a very difficult proposition to counter. I agree. Can you think of any formations that he would play that would make Paul think that he's playing funny chords? No, only that he was playing banjo chords. (laughs) Right, right. That's my only only logical explanation, because Paul obviously knew guitar chords. I totally agree with you. That this is what I think. I think obviously he's got a he obviously he's got his guitar stringed A four forty with six strings. He's playing a G in the photo, but also I think I totally agree with you. I think somewhere obviously through the gig, through the songs, he was obviously playing banjo chords on the guitar. He was he was rearranging the banjo chords to play the guitar. When everyone went over to the church hall rod following the afternoon show, what did you yourself do? Colin and I went home for tea and that apparently when we were away was when Paul came over and the famous incident took place. So who was there when John and Paul were introduced to one another by Ivan Vaughan? Pete, John, Eric and Len. Then which of them told you Paul retuned John's guitar to regular tuning and played it upside down? Nobody mentioned it at the time. It's only something that came out years later. Nobody specifically told me this is accounts of the meeting. Now, I know people have said Paul showed John how to tune a guitar. And it's a thing I always got very annoyed about because we always used pitch pipes. So it wasn't necessary for somebody to show us how to tune a guitar. And again, of course, if John if John played banjo chords, as I maintain he did, then he would not have wanted to learn how to tune a guitar like a guitar because none of his chords would would have worked. But, of course, you've thrown a Spaniard in the works by interpreting this photograph as a a G chord, which is unbelievable. You know, I think it's absolutely fantastic that you found this. (laughs) If only we can reconcile the facts. I mean, you've got a... There's a photograph here where he certainly looks as though he's playing a G chord, yet everything I've heard up to this moment was that John always played banjo chords and that's everything i always believed you know wholeheartedly so as i say you've thrown a spaniard in the works of these stories 